Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli. Guys, if you are also using lead ads for a while to generate leads for your business, but you are tired of lower conversion rates and higher CPM rates and even higher competition, then I have a suggestion for you. Why don't you use the same lead ad strategy with TikTok? Yes guys, TikTok is becoming pretty sought after platform for generating leads for your business day by day. And this video is all about using automation with TikTok to generate leads. So without further ado, let me tell you what we are going to do here. So here I'm going to show you an automation by which you can send TikTok leads to Google Sheets automatically and save the leads there in your Google Sheet. Okay. So uh, to make this happen, we are using Pabli Connect and the flow of our automation will look like this. As in when the lead got generated from TikTok, uh, the same lead will be added in a row that you have in your spreadsheet that you have created in Google Sheet application. And to make this happen, we are using Pabli Connect, which is an integration and automation tool. And the best part of creating this automation is that you will not require any coding skills or programming knowledge. So let us set up this automation together. So the first step to create this automation is to log in into your Pabli Connect account and reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect like this, okay? So guys, please do check the link that we have pasted in the description from where you can reach the landing page of Pabli and from there you can set up your free Pabli Connect account in just two minutes. After that, you can sign in and reach the dashboard of Pabli Connect here like this, okay? And here you have to create a workflow of automation so to create that, you just have to click here on this create workflow button and here you can give any suitable name to your workflow. So let me fill the name here. So guys, I have given the name to this workflow as say, send TikTok leads to Google Sheets automatically. Okay, now you can click here on this create button and you can see your workflow getting created here like this. Okay, and on this page, you will find these two things, the trigger and the action. So our automation work on these two things. The trigger says when this happens, that means when any event occurs, that event will act as a trigger or a signal to this workflow. And that when event occurs, that this workflow will start running. Okay. And after that trigger action will happen, which is a response to the trigger and action will make Pabli connect do this or do something. So as in our use case, the trigger would be uh, a new lead generated from TikTok lead ads and the action or the response to that trigger would be to add to send the same lead in the Google Sheet that we have. Okay. So first of all, you had have to set up your trigger. So click here on this trigger uh, window and from this choose app fail, you have to choose your trigger application. So in our case, the trigger application is TikTok. Okay. Here it is TikTok lead generation. So click on it to select it, then it will ask for the trigger event. So the trigger event would be a new lead. Okay, so it triggers when a new lead is created. Okay. After that, click here on this connect button and we are going to connect uh, TikTok here so that we can capture the data of the leads here in Pavli Connect from TikTok lead ads. And with that data only, we are going to set up this automation further. Okay. So from this window, guys, select this add new connection and then click on connect with TikTok lead generation. Okay. So it will bring you to the login window of TikTok if you are not logged in. As I have already logged in here, let's see what happens. Okay. So I think it is asking to give the access, to give the permissions required to fetch the data. So you have to uh, give the permissions like this. You just have to scroll down here and click on this confirm button. And you can see the authorized is successful. Okay, so the authorization is successful here and it started showing connected here. Okay, so that's how you can connect your TikTok. Now here you have to select your advertisers ID. So TikTok will give you the advertisers ID. When you log in into your TikTok account, you will find that ID. So let me show you. So you can see here on, the, on this drop down, it will show you the IDs. This is the ID I am using and this is the other ID I have. So I have to select the ID that uh, we are using and by which we have created the lead ads. So I'm selecting this Magnet Brains LLC 1221. This is what we are using. And I have created lead ad forms in my TikTok. 
So it is showing me the form IDs here. You can see these are the forms I have created. I have created a contact form in TikTok. So I have selected this. I can show you here it is. Here are the forms that I have created. And this is the form that I'm selecting the contact form. Okay. <clears throat> so you can select your lead ad form like this. Okay. But guys, the thing is, I'm not running any lead ad now in TikTok. So if you are running the lead ads in TikTok, and if you follow this process, then you can fetch the data out of uh, your lead ad generation form by clicking on this same and send test request. But now, as I'm not running any lead ads in TikTok, I have to use another uh, another way to collect leads from my form, okay, which is called collection of test lead. Okay, so that is another way to set up this automation. Okay, so uh, guys, when you click on save and send test request now, as you are not running any lead ad, it will start showing this waiting for the response. And as and when you got a lead generated out of your live lead ad from TikTok, the response will be captured here. But now I'm not running any lead ad, so it will keep on keep it will keep waiting for the response. So for the data to be fetched, what I'm going to do, I'm going to click here on this action window. And I'm going to click on TikTok again. I'm going, I'm going to select TikTok again. And we are going to use an action event given by Pavli by which you can uh, collect the test lead here to set up this automation. So when you select this app here, now in the action event, it will show you these two options, create a test lead or delete a test lead. So here I'm selecting create test lead option, then click on connect here. And now I can use the existing connection because I have connected with TikTok in the first step. So now I can use this existing connection option. And now I just have to click on save and we'll be connected with TikTok again. You can see we are connected. Okay, so now it is asking for the advertisers ID again, select the ID. And here it is asking for the form ID. So form ID is this one. And when I click here on save and send test request now, it will give me the data of the test lead or a demo data showing that how the real lead will be captured when you run the uh, lead ad in real time. Okay. So now in this response received section, you can see this is the uh, data of the test lead got generated here. Uh, you can see here that lead data, first name as test first name, the last name as test last name, the test email address, and you can see here dummy data for ad group name and this is how the test data of a lead will get generated and not only in this step but in the first step too it will show you the same data because the trigger is the same uh, we have selected here uh, to trigger this workflow when a lead got generated and we generated a lead with the help of this action step here create test lead so the uh, data got captured in both of the steps like this okay so now we are going to use this data to set up this automation further. Now we want that as and when in real time, this data got received here in public connect. We want to send that lead into our Google sheet that we have here. Okay. And here we want to save the data of the lead as this, the name, the email, the date and the lead ID. Okay. So for this to happen, come back to public connect and click here on this plus icon. And another action window will open up and from this choose app field, you, you have to select the action application now as Google Sheets. Okay. And here in the action event, you have to select this add new row option because we want to add the date of the lead in a row. So select this add new row option, then click on connect here. And from this window, select add new connection, then click on connect with Google Sheets. Okay. So it will bring you to the login window or uh, to a window from where you have to select the uh, Gmail account from which you're using that Google Sheet application. So select that email ID of yours, Google ID, okay? And after that, you have to provide an additional access to send the data to Google Sheets. Okay, so from here you have to click on this continue button to provide the additional access that is completely safe. So you can see now the authorization is getting successful and in a few moments will be connected. You can see we are now connected with Google Sheets. Okay, so now here it is asking for uh, to select uh, your spreadsheet. 
Okay, so this is the spreadsheet I have created. The name of the sheet is TikTok here. So I'm going to select this sheet from this select spreadsheet uh, uh, menu. And here in this drop down, it will show you all the spreadsheets that you have created in your Google Sheet application. So my sheet is this TikTok one. So I'm selecting this. Okay. <clears throat> and now it is asking for the sheets name. So here you can see the name of the sheet is leads. Okay. So I am going to, so it will be automatically selected because we have only one sheet now in our spreadsheet. Now it is asking to map all these things, the name, the email, the date or the lead ID. Okay. So these are the things which we have here as the headers of the columns. Okay. So we are going to map the test data that we got from the second step or you will got in the first step if you are running lead ads in real time. Actually, you won't be needing this second step to create test lead if you are running the uh, if you are running the lead ads. Okay, so in real time you can also capture the data with the help of this step. But if you if you cannot get the data and you are it, it is consuming time, you can use this step, which is to create test lead. Okay, so with the help of this, let me map the data of our test lead. So. In the name field, I'm going to click here and you will find all the previous steps in the drop down. And when you click on any of the steps, you will find all the data that you have captured in the previous steps. So from here, I'm going to map the name as the uh, here it is the test name, the first name here. And you can uh, you can map the full name also. Let me map the last name as well. OK. And in the email map the email from here. This is the test email. And in the data, a uh, date. Okay, so let's see if we have the date. So you can map the date of generation of the lead also. So here you can see I don't have the date. So it is not a compulsory thing. You can leave this blank also. And in the lead ID, you can map the lead ID from here. Okay, like this. Right. So we have mapped the data. And when you map the data like this, what will happen in real time when you get the details out of the lead ad forms, this data will be mapped automatically and will be transferred to a Google sheet. Okay. And that data will be changed that that won't be this uh, not like this, that would be an actual data that you are getting. Okay. So now let's check our connection if the connection with our Google sheet is working properly or not for that you can click here on save and send test request. And let's see what happens. Okay, so it is showing this kind of response here. You can see now let's check in my spreadsheet if we got the data and you can see the data is here in a new row. Okay, so this is how it is going to happen in real time. So uh, now we are done making this workflow setting up this automation and let me give you a quick recap what we have done here. So first of all, in the trigger, I selected TikTok lead generation with this trigger event as new lead so that you can capture the data when you are running lead ads in TikTok in real time. Okay. But as I'm not running the lead ad and it is taking time to capture and if you're even running, it can take time to get the data in real time also. So for that, we have used this second action step. And in this step, I connected TikTok again with this action event now create test lead and we have created a test lead like this. Okay. <clears throat> After that, in this action step, I connected my Google Sheet application to send the data of the lead in my Google Sheet. And then I mapped the data that we got. And when I clicked on save and send test request, we have seen that the data got transferred to my sheet. Okay, now you just have to click on save. And guys, you have to set up this automation only once you have to make the connections and map the data only once after that, you don't have to do anything manually. After that, when in real time you uh, as and when you get got the lead generated out from your TikTok lead ads, the data will be transferred automatically and you can see that lead on your spreadsheet uh, directly. Okay. And the good part is I'm going to paste the link of the same workflow in the description so that you can clone this workflow in your own free Pabli, uh, Pabli Connect account and start using this automation instantly. Guys, thank you so much for watching our video and please, please let us know how our automation ideas are helping you in the comment section. And if you have any queries related to this application, please ask your queries from this forum link and do check the pricing of this application from this link. 
and guys we are open to ideas if you want us that we should make videos on other aspects of your business please do let us know in the comment section and if you like our work please subscribe to our channel